on Wednesday. Now but, you're live. And now we're live. Welcome to Double Funnel TV this Thursday, which you may watch at any time you want. So it might not be Thursday while you're watching this. But hi. Welcome. Hi, Jenna. You are on Thursday, though. I'm on Thursday. And tomorrow. My brain is on, my brain is on Thursday. My brain... I'm not even sure my brain is on a day, but if I had to pick a day, I think it's on Wednesday. Why is that? Kids were out of school Monday. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this whole, these whole holiday things, man, they just kind of jack up your schedule, don't they? They do, especially with children. Yeah. And they think it's so cute to do it to us. Yeah, they have so much fun, don't they? <sighs> The kids are dragging. They're in terrible moods. Terrible, terrible moods. Uh, it's just, you can't have a testimony without a test. Just gives you the opportunity. <laughs> <laughs> I can say that now that my kids are old. Er. <coughs> oh my goodness. Can't have a testimony. Without a test. Without a test. There's no testimony without test. Oh my gosh. Get it? Get it? I do. Anyway, so what we doing? I've been. Let me let me ask you about Kyvio. As long as you're firing it up there, when you do A/B testing through Kyvio, it and you give the distribution. So one time the URL pulls A, and the second times it pulls B, right? Yes, fifty percent of the time it goes. Back and forth. No, I changed it to 90-10. Oh, oh, you changed it. Yeah. Why did you do that? I'm curious. Well, because I I know how many times the other one's been seen. So I wanted to catch it up. I want to catch up this new thought, thought process. Not a perfect A-B split test. I didn't say it was. Uh, this, I'm a sales guy. I'm not a digital marketer. Come on. I mean, I'm not going to be like, cry complete foul and be like, no, you did it wrong. Um, but typically, you want to do it as an equal test with equal variables. Right. So, like, so here's the page of your A-B split testing. So, first, whenever you're A-B split testing, it should have at least, like, from Sunday through Saturday. It should be one full week, Right. Right. Because and in theory, it should be two weeks. So, you know, at least cover two Sundays, two Saturdays, two Mondays, two Tuesdays. Um, but definitely a minimum of a week because let's say you A-B split test and you only A-B split test on Sunday. You might have a completely different crowd. Yeah, there's there's no doubt. There's no but I, this is what's fun about what we're doing here with these funnels is it gets it got me really thinking. And re I remember I said something yesterday about how presentation for in many cases is conversational and so all of a sudden i went well, we're not talking with people very well the way it was it was more factual or functional or whatever and so when i went back and i really looked through the 12 steps of a sales letter you know mm -hmm. all of a sudden there were some things that popped out you know like uh, identifying the problem. So again, we had the action and everything very quickly and take action on the page and do all that. But I don't know that we identified the problem really well. Well, that's real conversational for me. And so that's what I, has this ever happened to you? You're standing mm -hmm. in line at a da, 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 da. That's where that copy came from. And it was like, okay, well, let's just put the problem right there. So then I looked at the, Again, same thing, looked at the headline, looked at a variety of different things. <coughs> and this is where, I mean, it, it's funny because I've sent it to a couple of people and they're like, damn, this is awesome. Where I've sent the other one to other people and they've gone, this is nice. You know, there's a real difference in, the, in what they get. And I don't want to have a lot of copy, I get that. But kind of that actually, and I was thinking about it, that actually is what could be a script for a video. Talk, 
remember when I said yeah. it would be interesting to create a video at the top and then also have it transcribed? Well, I went the other way. I, I wrote it and then went, man, this would be a great script for a video, right? Just talking through the same points. Mm -hmm. The other the other thing that I did is in looking at it after creating that extra copy is I then um, got uh, it. Oh, I, I watched the video right there. That's that you see. Mm -hmm. And that video makes so much more sense now that that copy is there. OK, it's the, the video actually always made sense but it makes but, as to but, the recipient i think it makes more sense now because it kind of puts the story in place yeah the only thing i noticed on mobile it's squishy the screen here yeah i didn't look at it on mobile at all that right there's a lot of unbroken up copy and then it goes through this and the sequence like there's probably a lot you could take out on mobile, like a lot where like I mean, everything is the same on the website, but taking a lot of the different things out on mobile. I didn't know you could do that. You can. See, so whenever you go over here to Kyvio, right. Um, I'll show, cause it's a little, it's just a little button. So, where did my, oh, there, it's like, where did my screen go? So, if you go over here, and I'm going to blow it up on the... Oh, with the little eyeball? With the little, if you go to the eyeball, it's going to pop up a screen. Of course, it can't be in my viewer. Visible on large and medium devices. This is going to be your desktops, laptops, tablets. Um, and sometimes if it goes into landscape or wide on that tablet, right? And then on your small devices, so this is going to be your tablets when they're in portrait mode, and it's going to be on all your smartphones. Right. You can make it visible or not visible. So you could literally have two different images or two different columns where one shows up on desktop only and one shows up on mobile. <coughs> well, that's – well, I mean, I know I've seen that before, but I never really <laughs> thought about going in – I'm just trying to get people to respond to what I got. You know, yeah, and the so other no, one I use a lot is, um, so here's a great example. I, how did I have these situated? So right here are some of our distinguished members. I have them situated um, six across. Right. A lot of times, even when I'm doing them six across, I will actually do the structuring to be two columns. So this is just one column right here with a six column on the inside. I'll put a two column with um, two different sets of three columns on either side. So you still get the exact same look. However, what I can do is I can come in here and on this edit bar, column settings, and I can say preserve columns on mobile. So if I That's do it cool. this way right here, it looks fine on a wide screen, right? Yeah. But on mobile, it stacks all those logos, or it would, all one. It'd be really big logos, and they would take up the whole screen, which I don't need. But by doing it this way and saying preserve the columns, it just shrinks them. They're not important, like that important that they need to take up the whole screen. So by doing that, I can take and get just the, you know, that line, almost that like bar of social proof. I did this same thing here. So this is an example. I've got a two column structure and then inside I have a two column structure. I could have done it, you know, just the regular page with, with four columns and adjusted the column width. But when I do that, then it just, these pictures were too big on the mobile. Yeah, and I remember seeing those on the mobile before. Yeah. But this way, when I squeeze it down, those become right next to each other. So I still get the picture and I still get it right next to its headline and its description. 
I instead like of it. like this. This is what happens when you don't preserve the columns. So if I go up here to column settings, oh, it actually has it. It's just not, why is that one being weird? Don't have that answer for you. I'm sure it's something I've done. It's always something I've done. Well, I, I think what's so cool about all this is again, part of it is you find these things as you, as you do more of it, you know, which is, which is exciting. But for me with Kyvio, I love the, the, the plug and play mm -hmm. aspect of it. You know, the, um, the being able to, um, you know, tweak something. I mean, again, it's even like that that big headline of uh, secrets to uh, to stop overpaying on um, hotels. Da 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 da. That revealed versus going. Well, do I do I really need to say that, or can I pull it back just a notch? and have it say on travel because then it causes them to go down further into the page to find out what you save it on. Ah, thing, right. That's a good. And point. so, well, it was, it was really intriguing to me because it, it got me thinking about the different, um, it got me thinking differently. And I just well, think and the that nice that's thing the, is, that. you when you're thinking differently like that, you can easily like literally. I can come here to this cells page. I can hit the duplicate button, right? Only change the headline. Come into my split testing screen here. Add a new variable, and then just change this one. Right. And I can be split testing for the next month with, you know, nothing specific, right? By just, just that going one in, variable. Yeah, just change that one variable. Yeah. And that but way that, you'll know. So if you're driving enough traffic and you A-B split something, test your sales page every single month, just something tiny. You know, maybe at the end of your split test, it's statistically <coughs> irrelevant, right? It's about the same no matter what, right? But maybe you do your split test. Go ahead. I thought you had to copy paste. You don't even have to copy paste. I forget. No, actually, all, you know what you have to do? All you do is go up and, and change it on the page itself from variation yep. A to variation B. And it does all that. Yep. You don't even you don't even have to clone it. And so that was what was really cool and so but it made all of a sudden it made more sense to me and i'm a consumer too so i all of a sudden looked at it with different eyes and um and uh sean actually when i sent it to him sent me a thing that tests headlines that okay. uh, um for emotional pull and you know in other words it, i should actually send you the link because it is actually pretty interesting it grades your headline for okay. emotional intellectual and spiritual in other words it's it says a uh, hundred is is perfect okay so like this headline that i changed it to i went from a 50 percent rating on the system to a 56% rating. Well, that would tell me this is better <laughs> based on their standards, right? Yeah. And then and then he created a five word headline, which you couldn't use for a headline, but it was a 100% headline. But it's not, it's funny, It it's a 100% headline, but I don't think that it actually works for what we're working to do necessarily. My point is, interesting that there's a tool there to check the emotional re potential emotional response in other words the headline that i have there because it's about saving money uh-huh 
is an intellectual response as opposed to an uh, and it's an emotional response on one side but it's more of an intellectual response so this is all this stuff is really fascinating me now you know you, to a greater degree of now trying to tweak to get the right words to get the right even further i mean i do that speaking all the time i've never done it this way right secrets on how to stop overpaying on hotels resorts cars and activities revealed was a whole lot less powerful than secrets on how to stop overpaying for travel rebuild well i can tell you really quick on this page this button right here to optimize it join the u plus one on facebook that should be deleted there should be no other calls to action on your sales page except ones that are going to help you close the sell so the call us now that's different which by the way does it work no it did no maybe it's not working because i'm on a live and i'm using my microphone um this man a lot of text not a lot of space whole lot of text i get it um and then the other thing that i'm missing is like when i see this right here right where um here on the right yeah i'm expecting a buy button down here because this what? is information, which is fine. This is information with the buy button. This is information with a buy button. Right. This is just showing, you know, what you can do, showing what you can do, showing what you can do. So these boxes, I expect to have like some equivalent, like I expected a buy button, you know, here because it's here and here. The other thing is these buy buttons blend in, which is fine when you're kind of going for that kind of like Kickstarter-ish. That's what we modeled this page after. Right. I would like to see like a very definitive bar or something like here, breaking up some of the space that Again, has some buy buttons. Here's, here's the other side of this, is we did exactly that. We, we created this to look like Kickstarter originally. Mm -hmm. And that has now morphed into, so again, in the earlier stages, I didn't have the knowledge on how to modify, you know, two columns or two thirds, one third columns and things like that, right? I didn't have those things in the beginning. I do have that, that ability now but I actually kind of like the way it looks, but that's another thing to test. I, you know, quite, this was being built from something that already existed. It wasn't, um, it wasn't just a pure, fresh, <laughs> clean start. So if, uh, and again, there's a lot of, I'm not arguing the fact there's a lot of stuff on there. The, the page is in uh, drilling wells. Because that's in the other uh, funnel. Again, I don't know how to move it from one classification to another, so I just do it where I can do it. It's TSP retail. Is what that page actually that one? So you mind if I just go ahead and delete this one? Well, that's the A/B test. That's that's the a variant no i get that but i'm deleting the facebook call to action oh sure 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 i didn't know what you were talking about deleting well the, and like i said on a sales page there shouldn't be any low level call to action like that and you'll see that's that easy to change between variants yeah it's no, just I agree. coming up here and switching. I actually That's like cool. that. You figured a lot. that out. What's that? I like that you figured that out. Yeah. No, I mean it, and and it's even like changing the class. Remember when I said I when we were looking at the BGN Insider uh, or the workshop page, the clock that you used. Mm -hmm. I just like the way it looked better. So that 
the original is this way. If you go to the B variant, just click variant up on top there. If you mm -hmm. go back to the page, you can see the, I went to that different clock. I just thought that looked cooler. Now that's me. I don't know. Maybe it is. Maybe it's not. Uh, I really, why did I just do that? I really like that particular clock. I do too. I just, I love the circles. Like sometimes it's really hard to work it in the way that I want to, but I just like it. Yeah. Well, that's, that's what I'm saying it is I actually like the way that looks now with the U plus one lifestyle logo there. I think it identifies the, the brand better uh -huh. without asking them to go to the Facebook group. I, I agree. But again, on the other one, I, that started with the original call to action, 100% of the desire was to get them to join the Facebook group. Okay. So this comes from a page that has now morphed. It was, the sale was joining the Facebook group originally. Now the sale is to actually purchase product. That's I like a, this page, like, I think you a, could make that's this an a little old page. bigger. Just so you know, I mean, that's not the, that that's an untweaked version. It, it's like the very, you know, the variant B. Mm -hmm. I really kind of, I mean, I like the way it looks. I'm not stuck on the way it looks, but I think it actually now has all the appropriate information. So I think we could, take this and now pretty it up, you know, take some of that copy and, you know, make it wider, do whatever. Again, in essence, I was using a, an existing template. Is it the correct template? I'm not saying it is, but made the existing template look pretty good. Ah. Uh -huh. Right. And I love this. I think you could widen this block, put some more space up here, a little bit more space down here, not much down there. It's a beautiful sunset. You've got the couple, you've got like relaxation with the hammock. There are a lot of things going on there that are desirable. And then we have a question from Rayanne, where do you add the like my Facebook page? So Rayanne, this particular one, and I obviously didn't save it because there it is again. Um, it's just a button, and in the settings, you just put your Facebook page in there, and then you can change the text to be whatever you want. I mean, that's the nice thing about simplifying it like that. Is that they're just buttons. So you can use the social images the same way down here. So I know, Ran, we had done these. You could make this Facebook page drive to your actual Facebook group if that's where you really wanted people especially new people. Um, this YouTube could be a specific channel. It could be a specific playlist. Same thing with Instagram. Um, you're just putting a link in there. It could be whatever you want. Don't lie to people. That would make me angry. If I click on your Facebook page and it takes me to a Twitter account, I'm going to be totally upset. Um, but the other ones are just creating buttons. It's just coming in here, hit button, drag your favorite to your spot, and then come in here and edit it. Change it to your color. Give it some corners. Rounded. I like rounded buttons. It's my thing. Change yeah. the text. Join my face group. You could just as easily come in there and Google what is the hex code for Facebook, and you could make the button Facebook blue. Um, just a button. Make it whatever you want it to be. Um, you can even just pull um, button styles. Like if you can um, go to use deposit photos. Um, buy button. Taking so long. But yeah, there's all sorts of buttons that you could just get from deposit photos and use those as buy buttons. That way you can like 
you can see like this one's got a little shadow and a little reflection and looks all cool. Yeah. Um, you've got sets that have, you know, a lot of different things going on that you can learn to integrate into your pages and they'll keep them all consistently looking for you. Where's that one go? This awful one. Here we go. Some Amazon looking orange. Add to cart, shop, buy now, buy now, add to cart. Or it just looks a little fancier. It's just an image. It's just an image. And you could add those. But yeah, I definitely feel like this text needs to be brought in a little bit so it's not so side to side. It's a lot to read online. Maybe even broken up into bullet points. Or I mean, I like the story. Just maybe some more white space. Well, that's what I'm saying. I'm, it, the question now is, is that better to produce that as a video, like that is the script of the video? Or the, you know, the, there are going to be people who don't watch the video, so I'm I not know. opposed to doing a video and including some text. I know it was... But at it's, the end of the day, this is supposed to be the retail page to support when people are already pretty much in the buy mode and all you need to do is make it easy for them to buy, right? Yeah, this is kind of the overall tell the story mode a lot of times. It's also designed to process to buy. But it need, I think it needs to tell the story, too, of why they should buy. Well, like the story, too. But what I'm saying is it's meant to be like a page that when someone comes here, they're already going to have a lot of setup on the cell. Does that make sense? Yeah. There will be times that are like that, but I, but I think there'll probably be the, the greater opportunity that exists today is we, we have a significantly large untapped market who has never seen some, that this exists, believe it or not, uh, because the market itself is so big. So to a certain extent, it's a full blown sales page. You know I mean? It's designed to be, this is digital marketing in action. I now think, you need traffic. Right, which is now all of a sudden we're finding a variety of traffic vehicles that accomplish that. So, yeah, but the first place is you hit. plain and simple. Initial design was a place to profit, profit, process a sale. I mean, if there was just a, you know, buy here button. Yes. Originally, that's all it needed to be. Well, now we're, you know, it, then again, it, it's morphing. It, the more that I've found out what you can do with Kaivio, the more that the story morphed, right? To use it for more than just processing a sale. Right. Right. Now it's like, okay, let's make it the place where people can learn about it. And, and so we can be more hands off. You know, you can simply put out save on travel expenses.com and they go, well, I like the idea of saving on travel expenses and all of a sudden, poof, here's this page that tells the story and how they can save on travel. So it, it's, its purpose has changed and like the template didn't change along with the purpose. Does that make sense? Yeah. I, I took an existing template and tried to make it that way. So if there's a better way of doing it, I'm all for it. Or, or taking now, but what I'm saying is, I think that the, the text, the information, the what's available to tell the story is on that page. It might not be in the right sequence. It might not be in the right place. And what I started doing is going back through the 12 steps. And when I, you know, grab attention, the first one is, headline everybody yes. deserves to save money true statement eh. that was the headline though so now secrets on how to stop overpaying people don't like to overpay on travel 
revealed, oh, creates curiosity, different headline. So I, I just started, I took the existing page now and started going back through and making sure. And then all of a sudden I realized, well, the second thing is identify the problem. Didn't, there wasn't anything that really identified the problem. And so yeah. that's what all that text now does. So again, it's like, I'm just, I'm working to address down the line how to create a, a foolproof landing page and trying to check off all the things you and I have talked about. And I realized there were some elements that were not in that page. And I, it, we're not unique to that situation by any stretch of the imagination. I think the vast majority of landing pages don't have the things you want to have on them. Correct? No. So anyway, that's my little, that's my reasoning for modifying the page. Now, can we make it even prettier? Probably. Can we make it more effective? Probably. I get that there's a lot of copy there. And we tend to put way too much copy out there. So the question is, how much is enough? How much is too much? How much isn't enough? Right? Yeah, I mean, and, and that kind of goes back to, do you like a more modern look? Does a long form sales letter like, let me see if I can pull up an example here. Let me go to my Facebook account. Well, again, all this, the long, this is our conversation from the other day when we were sitting there face to face, you know, talking about the old way, which was long form sales letters. Oh my God, they were so, they were 17 pages long. What it took to write the copy in the old days was crazy. Right. So here's an example of like some old school long form sales letter in theory. Oh, I guess it went live. Why is it so short? I guess he turned that one. That's not a long <laughs> No, that is not, not a long term <laughs> circuit, right? Um maybe it's further live oh, wait live sales right here it was a long form sales letter here we go this is some old school i mean you've got so many and this is not like a great example of images certainly but it just keeps on going but you can see how it breaks it up with different visuals yeah internet speaking this was like this is the example of one that just keeps on going for the longest. Oh my gosh, it just keeps on going. See, like, so if you have a lot of text, see how it breaks it up almost to one sentence per paragraph? Yeah. Um, we're going from headline, plain text, highlighted in bold, plain text, bold, regular, red and bold, highlighted in black, like it's mixing it up back and forth still doing the same thing on every single set, mixing it up so it stays vis visually, like going back and forth. I yeah. believe if you even go to ClickFunnels for the longest time, actually made me type it all out. They were a long form sales letter. It just keeps going on. Yeah, I mean, literally. And that's a short one. That's actually, that is a short one. If, if, um, but as an example, when I look at, I think, I think that's a, that's a great thought on the way it used to be. Literally, if you would print a long form, uh, sales letter in the past, if you would, because you just go, wow, this, this is awesome. I mean, it would literally be 18 pages of stuff and I used to go have you done that before ha yeah I've made way back in the day but that it used to drive me crazy because I don't want to read 18 pages of stuff to know that I should buy this thing and I know today's attention span is not that 
Right. So I am sensitive. When I was adding all that copy, I was very sensitive to it. In fact, I, you know, I had the first, that's why they're, they are actually, if you look at it, two lines each, but they're two lines across the page. So okay. I, I think if, I think the way to then take the next one is probably put it in a box or change colors or almost, almost um, address what he, in, so almost go with the, um, what is the first sentence? Has this ever happened to you? Is the first answer. Second mm -hmm. question of doesn't this aggravate you? Second, you know, line. How do you change it? Third line, right? To your breaking it up. In other words, what does each one of those sentences answer? Okay. Because it does answer a different, each one does kind of answer a different part of the story, right? Right. See, now that okay. makes sense. And then I would also make these open in new windows, except the that's, order one. The yeah, order one should go to that. Uh, it does. I, I'm getting pretty good at this. I know, I'm, right? I'm actually pretty excited. No, I, I say that only from the standpoint of it's now you. When you learn this information, if, if anybody's been watching Double Funnel TV or goes back and, and watches it consistently, it's amazing what you learn about this stuff and, and how to put it together. And it's and then you go out and talk to people. Right. And they go, you built a what? I said, well, basically a landing page or a sales letter or a way to process an order. What? Oh, I can have one built for you in about 10 seconds. What? And so that's why all, so we actually have a new affiliate for BGN, which I need to send you with somebody I talked to uh, okay. uh, for our workshops. Uh, I need to send you the contact information so you can put that in so that we can trigger all that. And they're gonna, she's gonna start promoting our wor upcoming workshop February 9th. Awesome. Um, but my, the, the, the point is, she said, what do I have to do? I said, all you got to do is point. Point people to this site right here. And she went, well, I can do that. Right. And so she's got a sphere of influence here locally. Wants to help grow our business. Wants to help grow her business. All of a sudden, that's a really easy way for that to happen. So, but again, being able to simply replicate a site to clone a site and tweak this or that is pretty cool. Yeah. So, you know, I'm having issues with your U plus one lifestyle.com. It's not opening. I've got white screen. I got it open. Let me try it again. <clears throat> I mean, everything else is working for me for whatever reason. That one is not. Popped right open for me. You've got a cookie cache on it, though. Oh, I might. Let me go into a different browser. Fine. I played more with the um, UTM... I O yesterday. Yeah. I, I'm trying to figure it out. There was some interesting things I was um, managing to figure out. I totally got links confused. So I left a um, review and said, here's the full video review. Totally pulled the review to end up back on this page and had to come back here and be like, yeah, I figured out how to save. 
um, kind of covered some of the things that they didn't do. Like they, I couldn't delete an account. I thought that was interesting. Pop uh, straight up on another browser. So it must works be, for you? Yep. Using a different browser. Pop straight up. So it popped up on Chrome, popped up on Explorer. Connect, it uh, timed out on both Chrome for me and. Don't know. Might just be a that I'm live. Yeah, I mean, it's possible. It happens that way. No love for it. No love for it. Anyway, so one of the things we were going to talk about, and this is one of the reasons for people to get involved in BGN too, is some mm -hmm. of these templates and some of this stuff are going to be in there. Could this, could all this content be transferred to a new template easily? Um, so you can actually turn this into a template inside Kybio. Um, let's see, I'll go into BGN here because I'm pretty proud. I think that sales page for the workshop turned out really good. I spent a little longer on it trying to get the sales page there to look like it broke the different blocks. So right, right here you have a picture on the background and it comes up, but it also comes all the way down. Just to give it some visual interest. So like right here, I'm gonna do this. Um, Command Shift 4 and I'm gonna take a screenshot. It's gonna ask for a picture. And then I can come over, oh, you know what? Go into the editing space. Your little gears. Save as template. Call it workshop sales page. Sales funnel. Sales page. Screenshot. I'm going to browse. Um, this is for BGN. Vision challenge. Growth work. That's pretty cool. And what I'm going to do here is when so I'm going to close screenshot out, like, becomes the thumbnail. It becomes the thumbnail. I thought I took a screenshot. Oh, you know what? I've got space open. I'm positive I took a screenshot. I heard it. And yet I can't see it on my desktop. Um, weird. Uploader, if I choose files, desktop, my order. Here we go. Today, 940. Yep, that would be it. I just am blind. I obviously didn't see it. I'm going to choose that screen up shot. And so now I've got a picture of what that thumbnail is. And now that is a saved template. So I believe everyone can do that. A lot of times the way I will do it, um, because I have um, a higher level account, is I'll just copy over the whole funnel over and over again. But the other option that you do not have available on your account, you have to have, I believe, the business or the pro account, is when I go into just the funnels, Right. I have a share button over here with two arrows that I can click and share it with any other Kyvio owner. Now, after 2.0 launches, not immediately, but shortly after, they're going to make it to where you can just click a button and you can download a funnel. So I don't have to like go in and by hand share it with you. I can say click this link. It opens up wow. your Kyvio account and it brings you that template of the funnel. 
Yeah, no, I'm looking forward to that. That's the, because I think it, it is absolutely amazing to me how many people need this and how many people don't have this. And the those that have the resources and have spent a ton of money to get the to get the other programs. Oh yeah. Right? And you know, I haven't played a ton in the other programs. I've a little bit, but not a ton. But this is is actually even at this stage, just freaking awesome what you can do with it. But like this I one right here, I'm really excited about funnel. what it's going to get to. You know, all of double funnel is three pages. Not saying that there's not a back end membership, but the look is really clean, and it's just a simple three pages that you could have up and running in an hour. Yeah. And so I'm really excited about that capability. It says, "Hey, do you like double funnel TV?" You know, that website, here's the button, here's the set of videos below it that shows you how we built it out and, you know, the methodology and why we did things. Um, here's, you know, the strategy for it. Here's how we generate leads for it. Here's how we generate sales for it. But just going down and then watching everybody has the capability of coming back to those videos, but then they can just one click of a button and they can import everything in. Yeah, I really like that idea. I mean, I uh, think it's um, same thing. Like, let's say you were um, one of the ways that I see it being used a lot too is with affiliate marketing. You know, one of the things you might do. So you've got Susan who wants to, you know, help sell. The ability to say, "Hey, Susan, get your own account. Click on this button. You'll instantly have a template imported into your account." that's got everything ready. All you have to do is change the button link to your specific affiliate link. And then you have the option to add your own bonuses. Let me explain to you what that means and how you can better sell it and, you know, build yourself up a brand too, because affiliate marketing in that way is a great way to like piggyback on someone else's brand. So if you're right. new to the business, you're like I want to be a speaker, have you ever spoken before? Well, no. Um, one of the ways to kind of like get yourself out there is just to go out there and piggyback off somebody else by doing affiliate marketing. Yeah, no. And that's what, again, all of a sudden, that's why I'm tweaking the, the sales and messaging page so much because all of a sudden I've got people who, who again, you're always testing and sales. You're always testing stuff. And the test was, if I could give you a fully functional operational page immediately, will you tell people to go there? Right. And, and the answer was yes. Well, I'd be a chucklehead if I didn't do everything possible. A chucklehead. Well, but I mean, I, I'd be silly to not do everything possible to make sure that that page converts, right? If they're oh, willing, yeah. so they're a hundred percent of their task is to drive traffic. Mm -hmm. And so all of a sudden I've got a number of people who are raising their hands saying, I'll drive traffic for an affiliate check. Okay. So that's why I'm working so hard to tweak this page. Now that because, makes sense. Because all of a sudden there's in, in, that's why you work so hard to tweak the BGN page. Mm -hmm. The exact same reason is we want it to convert and we want it to serve more people. And so what's fascinating about this is, is kind of looking through and figuring out some of these things because I mean, these conversations are not specific to just the our U plus one travel savings passports. Do you understand? I'm going to have these people do the exact same thing with BGN. And we're going to create a network of this. Right. That That's what BGN, right? It's yes. U plus one has its own product mix but there's no particular reason that BGN affiliates can't be 
getting some revenue because they're driving, helping some of the other BGM members. This is the idea. This is the broader, the broader thought on how you grow BGM. Actually. I like it. Yeah. And, and so, and once it's built and once it, it works, once it converts, what do you do? Wash, rinse, repeat, wash, rinse, repeat. Do it or just and drive and more traffic. Well, but again, that's the whole point. You're you know different people than I know. And yeah. Susan knows different people than both of us know. And Sean knows different people than all of us know. And but if we create that if we make the centralized processing easy enough, we can grow exponentially very quickly. But what has to happen is the the place that everybody is promoting to has to convert. Right. The BGN, the BGN workshop page is somewhat worthless unless it actually converts. Right. Yes. If it doesn't convert, then none of it makes sense. Right. So that's my point is. You spend the time on getting the piece to convert. That's why I keep on tweaking with this funnel. Because all of a sudden I look at it and I, and it, this is what becomes difficult too, because you're no, you're so close to it now. You're no, you no longer have fresh eyes. You know, you, you understand it so well. But, but again, I, I was calling on a corporate client with it yesterday and I said, do you understand we can have this up for you in 10 minutes? And then what you mean, we don't have to do any of that work. Nope. They're like, hell yes. Right. So it's amazing. If it's already done for you and it's so quick, I wouldn't you. That's the point because now it's all about driving traffic. And even if they drive a hundred friends and that's all they ever drive, it, it's not necessarily about thousands and gazillions. I mean, thousands and gazillions are nice, mm -hmm. but again, what it is doesn't. A gazillion? I don't know. A lot. <laughs> it's a big number. Gazillion is not a real number. I think it should be. I vote that it is. <laughs> doesn't matter what I vote. <laughs> I had to look. I don't know why. I was like, I hear that all the time. I wonder if it actually has. Well, but again, that's that's why people who are watching this replay coming back understand how important what we're doing here really is. This can be your entire business. One funnel could be your entire business. One funnel can be your entire business, and you don't even have to be selling the product. That, that's what I'm saying. I mean, that's, I guess, what I've come to figure out out of this is like you just direct traffic and you cultivate an audience. It's perfect for extroverts and people who love doing, you know, just talking to people and getting to know people. I mean, how hard is it to have a conversation that says, you know, you all of a sudden you're talking and you say, you know, boy, it's cold. Boy, I wish I was on a beach somewhere. Yeah. Well, where's your favorite beach? Well, I love the Caribbean. Hey, you know, I just saw this site that, that has some great deals to the Caribbean, saveontravelexpenses.com. You should check it out. That's all you, you understand. It doesn't, you, but you've got to, you got to be able to point people to a place, right? Right. Or, you know, Man, uh, all of a sudden I was looking for some expertise and it just, is it a bit I mean, everybody tries to charge you a gazillion dollars for a template to do this or that? Well, yeah, that's, I, I joined B, BGN, I joined the Business Growth Network so that I didn't have that problem. And in fact, you can go to BGN Live, they got a workshop coming up here soon, right? Right. And all of a sudden, poof, they're into that same funnel and that's their affiliate, right? Now, for that little bit of conversation, they stand the chance to be rewarded significantly. Typically, a third or a half of the sale price. 
or the or the commissioning, how, however right. you want to look at it. So again, I mean, I think one of the things I I understand a lot of times we're just talking about these things, you know, but the question is, or not the the question, the, the thing is, are you really thinking about the potential impact of what this could be? Do you understand that all you could do is alive every day to the, direct somebody to a site? And if you've got a, enough people that do that, you know, 15 bucks here, 30 bucks there, 95 bucks here. I mean, all of a sudden, a buck and a buck and a buck is a lot of bucks. It is a lot of bucks. You know, so that's, we're really working to help people, you know, get some of those dollars for their efforts. No, I mean, I agree. And like, um, let me see if I can. Oh, I've got it right here. So templates like this. So, I mean, I've been making busy body, making so many templates to use. And, and you know, one of the things that BGN has become is it's, it's my research and dumping ground. So why recreate the will and go through everything that I've come to get through something when you can just come use mine, right? Yes. So four point brand building social media strategy audit. How do you know if you're doing a good job? Well, you know, here's the elements. Do you publish weekly content that addresses the three goals established in step one of your worksheet? You know, are you doing, um, uh, this is actually supposed to change, I've gotta go tell them that. How much engagement on your post, measuring your engagement? Are you creating new types of content that, you know, if you do nothing but text, are you adding video, or are you adding images? And this is just like one of many, 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 many. My favorite ones are, um, let's see, I've been knocking them out at Design Pickle. How, um, Design Pickle did your um, landing, or not your landing page, your lead, lead magnet. Right. Have you been driving traffic to that page? Uh, yeah, some. I, I've really been focused, uh, not enough, but but again, the um, it's, again, I'm really working to kind of perfect this one for the moment. This is more immediate. You know, I mean, somebody can go to this site and purchase something today. No, you know? I get that. And so. So here's a 12 look back that we did. An example of a worksheet that's great at the end of every year. You know, acknowledging what you're proud of, what you regret. Um, picking out some of the recurring themes. Like, yeah, you know, just kind of like a really, a nice little look back that says, you know, most people, they look back and they say, here's what I didn't finish. This is a quick way to say, what did you actually do that you accomplished? Yeah, I like and that. And then taking what you regret and getting your biggest opportunities, because the things that you regret are your upcoming biggest opportunities, right? Yep. What you're excited about, what you're worried about, your life lessons from the last 12 months. So before you dive into your goals, acknowledging what you did the last 12 months, to see what we need to change and what we need to grow on. Like that's that template right there, I'm literally starting to print all these out as I perfect them into my own notebook so that I can create for everybody in BGN a notebook. Here, print these worksheets out, let's put them in a binder for you, and let's yeah, just like work through it. Like it, make, like it, make no the binder a living, breathing document. That you can take things out, add stuff in, like, it is impossible not to be more successful every year when you do certain things. Yeah. Because no one else is doing them. Isn't that sad? No one else is doing like some of these very, very basic things. So we hit 10 tomorrow for Double Funnel TV. Um, by the way, if you want us to build your funnel, go over to Double Funnel TV, submit. Um, it is going to take you over here and tell you what you need to complete to get us to build your funnel. It's not hard, but there are seven steps. Um, 
But tomorrow we're talking about sales. What are what what kind of goodies do you have for us tomorrow? I'm not sure where we're going tomorrow. Maybe we should make it a surprise. A surprise? Actually, it's funny. I, I've got a uh, a tele summit I'm about to do, and of course, I speak tomorrow at uh, at Plano Richardson Plano Networkers. So. I'm going to be doing a lot of training between now and then. So I'm sure it'll be something that pops up in the training or we can do what, make a request. We can touch it all. Well, you'll be here first before you're at the training. I know. So I got it. Well, but I'm just about to do one. So I'll, I'll think through what I do this. I do here today. Because we did empowered sales. Yeah. Again, I mean, I would suggest let's, Let's post and see if we get some questions this afternoon. That sounds like a plan. We'll work on, you know, I mean, similar to what, what I'll do at probably at, at RPN tomorrow is, um, you know, how to start the year with a bang. What do you need to do? Sounds like a plan. So. All right there. All right. So thanks, Scott, and we'll join you tomorrow back with um, how to sell with a bang. That's right. Let's do it. All right. Have a great Bye, day. guys.